name is Carlos and I am a design engineer at Interface. I'm here to talk about how to choose a load cell. You probably know that load cells are not one size fits all and they are not all created equal. The best solution is always based on your application and specifications. Interface is here to help guide you through the load cell selection process. Not only do we make the most accurate and reliable force sensors on the market, but we have a team of expert application engineers to assist you in choosing the right load cell for your needs. Here's some of the basic information you will want to consider. What are you measuring the force of? Will you be measuring in both tension and compression or compression only? Will you need to measure off-axis or multiple axis forces? This will help you determine what type of load cell you need, such as low profile, miniature, or column. What are the expected loads? This will help you determine the needed load cell capacity. We recommend choosing a capacity that is higher than the expected load since interface load cells are accurate over the full range of their stated capacity. Will it be a static, dynamic, or fatigue measurement? A static measurement is a force applied to the load cells in only one direction, tension or compression, from 0 to 100, constant for an extended period of time. A dynamic measurement has loads that vary in both force and direction. A fatigue measurement is one with multiple cycles from 100% compression to 100% tension load. Interface's low profile load cells are fatigue rated for 100 million cycles. The fatigue rating of other load cell types and models can be found in their fatigue rating charts. No fatigue failure of any fatigue rated interface load cell used within its ratings has ever been reported. What environment will you conduct your tests? Will it be hot or cold? Dry or wet? Inside or outside? Lab or production line? These factors will help you determine the material of the load cell and whether or not it will need to be sealed. Some customers use load cells in harsh environments, extreme cold down to minus 40 degrees F and extreme heat up to 350 degrees F. How accurate do your measurements need to be? If accuracy is important to you, you've come to the right place. We have solutions if you need the highest accuracy or if you just need a ballpark measurement. What features and options will your load cell need? We have a variety of standard connectors available, including a 6-pin bayonet type, 6-pin screw type, and interverb cable. We also have a number of custom options, including a customer-specified connector. All interface load cells are rated at 150% or more of capacity. If you need more, we offer overload protection, a mechanical solution that protects a load cell from exceeding forces. Second and third bridges are used for redundancy or reference. These are particularly useful in ensuring a working load cell for extended period testing. An internal amplifier is used to modify the signal to the type of output required, including 4 to 20 milliamps plus or minus 5 volts, plus or minus 10 volts, 0 to 5 volts, and 0 to 10 volts. TEDS. TEDS stands for Transducer Electronic Data Sheet and is most basically a load cell with electronic identification inside, including sensor information and calibration data. It meets the standard IEEE 1451.4 for Smart Transducer Interface. It will make a load cell plug and play ready can reduce instrument setup time and eliminate data entry errors. How are you planning to collect and analyze the data output from your load cell? Interface offers a complete line of instrumentation to provide you with exactly the information you need, including indicators, signal conditioners, and PC interface modules with USB and software options. We invite you to visit interfaceforce.com slash carlos to find supporting information and documentation discussed in this video.